Hey guys, how you doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Fellas around the world, welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video as we sit down and just delete Cinderace from existence. Welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video featuring Gengar coming through top lane because Snorlax ended up stealing my jungle during this game. It is what it is. I wanted to show you guys the last one minute of this of this game before we dive into it. Now Gengar has got his brand new rework, which is phenomenal. It's really, really good. He comes online a lot earlier than he has before with Dream Eater and Shadow Ball. Now, it's a little weird how they did it. They give you Dream Eater first, and then you get Shadow Ball later, which is kind of strange. It's the same thing with Hex. You get Hex first, and then Sludge Bomb later. And I apologize if I sound a little bit under the weather right now. Like I said before, my throat feels like it's a cactus. It's not a fun time right now. But either way, man, we're here for it. We're having a good time playing Gengar. I think this new rework for him, or buff, or nerf, whatever you want to look at it as, I think it's fantastic, and it's going to be really good for him going in the future. They didn't change his passive ability, which feels really, really bad. But at the same time, like I said, they allow him to come online earlier during the game. Like, he gets his, his skills earlier than before. Cinderace still has no idea how much damage I did. It's crazy. But in any case, man... Hopefully you guys stay tuned. We will be doing Pokemon World Championship teams here very, very soon. So for those of you that are interested, make sure you guys stay tuned to the comment section or join the Discord. Let me know what you're interested in. I am EST Time Zone, so that's Eastern Standard Time. So all you gotta do is drop me a message in the Discord or the comment section. And then we'll go from there if you guys are actually serious of joining and putting together a team. But anyway, let's dive into this video. See you guys in a minute. Hey guys, how you doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all those around the world. Welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video featuring Gengar coming through the Master Rank in the jungle. As you've noticed, it looks like we get Hex L05 now. And we're missing Sludge Bomb. It's a little weird, I don't know why they did it like this. I mean, it still works, you can still toss Will-O-Wisp out at a target, and considering it's a status effect, you can do the damage with Hex, you know, you can still do it. Personally, I don't think it's as good. I'm very confused on why you get Hex opposed to getting, you know, Sludge Bomb first, but, you know, each their own. Now, what this does do is it gives you a stronger level 5 now. It gives you a better gank opportunity at level 5 because you can choose Hex now first, which is great, or you can choose Dream Eater. Dream Eater is going to be a little bit harder to do just because you're used to having Shadow Ball. Which, when you jump on the bees and stuff, Shadow Ball goes through all the targets and he hits, collides with the first enemy Pokemon or whatever. Now, you can't do that anymore because you don't get Shadow Ball first. Now you get Dream Eater. So Dream Eater, you actually have to land to deal damage, what have you. Which, a lot of people aren't very keen on using Shadow Ball Dream Eater combination because they don't like it. Just because you actually have to aim with the ability to deal damage, which can be hard for a lot of people. Whereas Hex is a little bit easier to play with, you know what I mean? I don't know where Charmeleon came from, I was very upset. Like, he just came out of nowhere, you know what I mean? That man just, like, teleported, he spawned in. But, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit under the weather. Hopefully, this thing will just go by. I don't want to deal with this anymore. My throat basically feels like a cactus, you know what I mean? It's, it's not a fun time. Also, this is probably the biggest patch that we've had in a while just because we've got a lot of buffs and nerfs and a lot of basically reworks because Gengar essentially, this is a mini rework kit for Gengar and a lot of people look at this as, as a nerf, a lot of people look at it as a buff I like to think of it as a buff but at the end of the day you've got to keep in mind that it kind of limits your kind of limits your playstyle a little bit depending on what type of build choice you want to go with because again not everyone is generally a good Shadow Ball Dream Eater you know, person or main or what have you a lot of people like playing Hex and uh, Sludge Bomb still, which is nothing wrong with that. And if you guys know me, I'm generally a Shadow Ball Dream Eater type of person. Which I did have a pretty good game before this one, except for Snorlax on my team decided to take jungle from me, which it is what it is, so I had to go lane guard, you know. I mean, it, it happens. What am I supposed to do in that situation, right? But hey, they finally fixed Gengar now where he comes online a lot easier earlier, and I personally enjoy it. I think it's very, very good for his game, just because what they did to Dream Eater now. If you get a kill with Dream Eater, like if you get the killing blow with Dream Eater, it lowers the cooldown on Dream Eater. 
so it allows the Dream Eater to be up more frequently if you pick up a target, if you pick up a kill with Dream Eater, which is nice, right? Also, you won't be able to tell in this game, but I want you guys to, for those of you that do play Shadow Ball Dream Eater, right? I want you guys to be very careful, be very mindful of um, your abilities now. Because is it just me, or does it look like Shadow Ball and Dream Eater are a lot bigger? You know what I mean? Like, they take up more space when you cast the ability. You know what I mean? I didn't notice it until I was throwing Shadow Balls out earlier today, and I'm just like, um, why does that look like it's a bigger Shadow Ball than before? I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things. I'm not sure. But in any case, you got Garchomp got a buff here, which they finally reverted his crit, crit changes and stuff, so now he can crit again on his uh, Dragon Rush and Dragon Claw and what have you. And then on top of that, Dig sounds incredible now with Garchomp, so I will be doing a brand new rework video for Garchomp here soon. I'm very excited about Garchomp now because he's actually relevant. And then his Dragon Claw also gives him slows. Like if he, if he connects with a target, he gives him a slow, which is incredible. That man crit me for over a thousand damage. Like, I didn't expect it. I know y'all didn't expect it. Like, the heck was that? It's okay. Everybody gets one. He's gonna get his. It's fine. But anyway. I'm very, I'm very much enjoying Gengar. I think he's still a lot of fun. I think now that he's been changed a little bit, I think he'll probably, the meta will probably shift a little bit because he's still better than a lot of other Pokemon. And you got to keep in mind, Talonflame got nerfed. You know, what I mean, Fly doesn't do as much damage as it did before now, which is fantastic. So that kind of opens the door for a lot of other junglers. I mean, you can still play Talonflame, obviously, but he won't be as potent as he normally is because he can't just one shot you with Fly typically. You know what I mean? So there's that. I haven't really seen much on Trevenant so far. I will be doing a video for that later on today, give or take. Now, I don't really notice Trevenant being like overpowered or anything to me that I've seen so far in my games. I feel like he's a little bit underpowered, underperforming. But I could be wrong because I have to get my hands on him and do some playtests and what have you. But every single one that I've run into where it's on the enemy team, I haven't really noticed a, oh my god, scary type Pokemon, you know what I mean? And by the way, that new Charizard skin is fantastic. Like, it looks really, really good. I want you guys to be mindful of, like, how Hex and Sludge Bomb, how I play this type of kit versus Shadow Ball Dream Eater. I'm very patient when it comes to this type of abilities, just like I am with Shadow Ball Dream Eater. I'm very, very patient. I'm not just going to jump in any moment I get and try to spam Hex and get myself killed. I try to take the kills when I know I can actually guarantee the kill. It's the same concept as when you're playing Shadow Ball Dream Eater. You can't just instantly go in as soon as you land a, a Dream Eater. It doesn't work like that. You have to be mindful now, especially with Dream Eater's new ability. Like I said, if you get a kill on it, it resets the cooldown and lowers the cooldown a little bit, which makes it a lot better. This right here, I was very confused on why he was trying to kill me. Like, he can't, outside of my sustain and the damage that I do with Hex, I, I don't know. I, it was one of those really type moments. I can't believe he was actually sitting here trying to kill me at Bullet Seed. But hey, what is he, what do you need to do? He's level 9, by the way. Uh, he's level 11. I did not see Pikachu here. Get out. Thank you. Oof, I was pretty close. Thanks for the berry, buddy. Appreciate you. But anyway, hopefully you guys are super excited. Because a lot of other Pokemon who were super strong also got nerfed as well. Dragonite, Serena. They finally nerfed Hyper Beam on Dragonite. In which I told everyone in the very beginning, Hyper Beam is, is very, very strong. And now they finally nerf it just because of how much damage it actually can do with pretty much no counterplay, to be honest with you. Because you can't crowd control Dragonite while he's charging up Hyper Beam. And it's very hard to get out of the way of the Hyper Beam unless you have a Jack button or Dash or what have you. It's very, very hard to, to not take damage. And he could just essentially walk up to you and Hyper Beam and kill you most of the time when you're low at health, which is kind of a pain in the butt. And at the same time, he's very, very good at stealing objectives with Hyper Beam. And I don't know, I assume it was intentional when they did it. I assume it was. You know, because Dragonite is Dragonite. He's an incredible Pokemon. In the Pokemon games, in the TCG, he's iconic. I think he should be relatively scary. But at the end of the day, it's just like, he does too much damage. I love the fact that we got a Sludge Bomb off there. Sorry about that, guys. I love the fact that we got a sludge bomb off there and we were able to do that much damage to everyone around me, which is pretty fantastic. But at the end of the day, it's just like, when you're playing Gengar, now that he has these new buffs, it allows you to rethink your situations, rethink your gank pass and what have you, because you come online a lot easier now. 
you're, you're able to successfully gank for bees at level 5, because all you have to do is land Will-O-Wisp on the bees and just go to town with Hex. You can essentially just ignore the enemy Pokemon if you want to. Just make sure you get the bees for your team and whatever. But hey man, this has been Pause Plays. So Hope you guys smash that like button. Come join the Discord and tell me I suck. We will be doing World Championship teams here soon, so keep a lookout for that. Drop a comment if you're interested. Catch you guys later. I'm gonna head out.